Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Modesty and today I have a journey to entrepreneurship story time for you guys. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So basically this story is, I just can't get it together today. You know what? Listen. Okay, basically the um, journey to entrepreneurship story time today is going to be about me being a vendor at a fashion show in 2017. So basically what happened was I was introduced to this um, this young lady that has a kid clothing store like myself and she caters to both um, girls and boys but my kid clothing store only caters to the tween girls so um, she thought it'd be a perfect idea to you know join her fashion show either become a vendor or um, allow the children to model um, Sunflower Bay kids wear down the runway so you know I was excited amp cool I was like yes you know and so um, the kids had to try out to be a model and it was $35 each and the vending the vendor fee was I believe 45 or 50 dollars I can't remember but it was between those two so my, I allowed both of my children to be models in her fashion show and um, you know they both had to audition and things of that sort and so um, she told me during my um, interview process for being a vendor um, at her fashion show she told me that she didn't want me to um, showcase any of my uh, outfits and like kid clothing wear so I also make um, hair bows and barefoot sandals and things of that sort like tutus I'm good with my hands so I also make those things too so she basically stated that I could just you know be one of the vendors there to um, showcase uh, hair accessories and and I kind of felt some type of way like I, it made me mad like low-key I was kind of pissed off <laughs> because I'm like you know I, I get it she's looking at me like a competitor but at the same time I'm like it's enough money in this game for both of us to eat you know so I was pissed off but I was like you know what I'm gonna take it because it's still exposure for Sunflower Bay kids it's still exposure for myself so I went ahead and I um, accepted you know basically the terms of not showcasing my kid clothing wear so um, after that um, I think it was like three days until the show she emails me and tells me that I can showcase my kid clothing um, basically for a hundred dollars and the kids can model them down the runway or whatever and at this point I'm like why would I do that and I, me and my girls have been working very hard to get you know get prepared for the show like making hair bows handmade by hand and you know we've been putting in in work like why would I want to do that now three days before the show I didn't shop for inventory and um I, yeah, I didn't shop for inventory, so I didn't want to showcase my clothing there, you know, and not have enough, basically. And so, um, it was a lesson learned, basically, on that note, but, um, I just declined her, and so I went ahead and set up. I still, I'm still feeling some type of way, because, like, I'm, like, dang, like, we're both supposed to be winning. Like, I understand you got kid clothing, but at the same time, so do I. Like, like I said, it's enough for us both to eat, like, you know? So, I guess she felt intimidated. I don't know what she felt, but I'm just gonna say it was probably intimidation from the competitor. So, I set up my table, when the day came, I set up my table, um, I was next to two other young ladies or whatever, and then her table was across the room along with the other um, um, store owner that was throwing the fashion show. So both of their tables was across the room so they can have like their, you know, so they could basically be the, the, have the spotlight on them in a nutshell. 
and I mean, I was still cool with the opportunity and I was still grateful for the opportunity to even, you know, be there and be a vendor because that was actually my first time being a vendor at an actual event. I worked events before, basically just volunteering and just seeing how events work and just kind of doing like, you know, behind the scene work or whatever. So when it was time for me to, you know, showcase my pieces and things of that sort, I already had some some experience and I already knew what I was going for. So anyways, um, make a long story short, the people came and things of that sort and I pretty much did really good. Like hair bows, barefoot sandals, hair ties, and everything. Like my table like was constant flow of cash coming to me. So I was excited. My husband was actually working um, my table for me like from time to time because I was, you know, helping the kids and I was also walking around and um, you know, just meeting people, giving my business cards out and things of that sort. And um, after the show, like when I did my calculations, I did damn good. Like I did really, really good as far as sales. And I got, I have to thank my husband. Thank you, babe. <laughs> because he is like a top notch salesman. Like that dude is cold when it comes to sales. And so I know a lot of it stemmed from him, but we pretty much did so good. Like, um, it was really good. I made back my uh, vendor fee. Plus I had a huge profit on top of that. And like I had hair bows that sold for like $15, $25 a bow. Now these were custom made bows. Some people may not, you know, pay that price, but others will pay what others want. So. For all my entrepreneurs out there, set your price and stick to it. Like, seriously. So anyways, back to the story. Um, After the show and things of that sort, we met up and she was asking. She was like, well, how did you do? And um, no, yeah, she was like, how did you do and how was it? Did you like it and things of that sort? And I told her, yes, I actually loved it. It was really, really good and it, it turned out really nice. And um, I asked her, how did she do? And she was like, she didn't even really make any sales because nobody was at her table. Nobody set up her display. Like she, like her, um, her um, clothing racks and things of that sort. They just basically had them in the um, bins and boxes. And like, like, so like her table kind of looked like a, um, like a little storage area, I might say. So no to, to, the um, entrepreneurs out there like make sure your presentation with your tables and things of that sort is top of the line so um, that's my eight minutes y'all <laughs> but anyways um, she basically didn't make any sales and I kind of felt like that was karma biting her back in her ass because like you know how you gonna invite me to be in your to be a vendor at your fashion show and then you don't want me to sell certain products because you think it's a conflict of interest or whatever so i said all that to say i still won at the end of the day like i was still winning and she didn't even she basically was out of more money than she anticipated and she didn't make her money back with the sales because like I stated, presentation wasn't there with her table. And I just think it was a whole lot of other things. Like I really don't want to just put it out there, but I just think it's a whole lot of other things. And, but like I stated, I was still grateful. I still thank God for like even the opportunity. And I still want her to eat and I still want her to win at, you know, her clothing um, business and things of that sort. So I was cool, but I just thought I'd come on here and show share that um story with y'all with you guys about my um like about what happened at that fashion show that i worked at in 2017. it was like i said it was cool but like in a way i kind of felt like you know corman came back with her because she was trying to be you know to me like you know you can't win when you you know you ain't right and you trying to withhold, you can't hold, my thing is, you cannot hold someone back. They're gonna shine regardless if you do not shine a spotlight on them. So to all the entrepreneurs out there that's doing, 
you're like you're doing your thing and things of that sort you're gonna shine regardless like never let someone try and steal your your shine like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was stressed out before the actual show i was so stressed out because i did have some people flake on me you know and i didn't have any help to finish some of my bows and so I'm trying to wrap up some of my bows I'm trying to get my table presentation together just to make sure everything looked right like it was a lot of stress and a lot of um, a lot of things that was going on and I was just like why is everything happening like this but you know they what they say is like Murphy's law or whatever but in the end I still pushed through and I still delivered and I won at the end like I was we were good <laughs> but anyways guys if you've ever experienced something similar um of that sort just comment below and let me know about your experience i would love to hear about you guys experiences like working with like working events and things of that sort because like some people need a lot of people need to know like when you work events like some crazy bizarre things the um, people try and ask you to do or request that you not show this and not show that or not do this and not do that. People do need to know these things. So just comment below like your crazy experiences because I really, really want to know and I'm definitely going to engage and I'm definitely going to come back with more um, journey to entrepreneurship story times for you guys and some advice. So if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you um, also want to follow my journey, def definitely subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you will never miss a video from me. Thanks guys. I'm Modesty and I'm signing off. <laughs> I totally almost missed the chair. <laughs> I almost missed the chair. Anyways. <laughs>